everybody. It is week 12 of Celebrate Wonder, and this is so exciting. Now, before we get started, I was right in the middle of getting ready to change this light bulb up here. So that's why I got I got this ladder because it's, it's way up there. Um, so I just need, oh, I know what I forgot. Pastor Meredith, anybody? Pastor Meredith? Yeah. Could I get the light bulb for the light? Sure. Please. Hi, everybody. Here you go. Um, <laughs> um, this isn't a light bulb. No, this it's is, a rock. Yeah, it, it's a rock. It's a rock, all right. Yeah. What would you like me to do with this in the light? Oh, I just wanted you to hold on to it. I couldn't oh. help but bring you a rock because our Bible story today has to do with ladders and rocks. So I brought oh. you a rock. You're on a ladder. That makes perfect sense. Of course it does. Welcome to Celebrate Wonder, everybody. <laughs> Week yeah. 12, I'm Pastor Meredith. This, of course, is Miss Laurie, and we're really excited to have this time of worship and storytelling and everything wonderful with you uh, on our theme today. We want to remind you, if you need a Celebrate Wonder kit or any of the wonderful activity uh, supplies that we have for this, just give us a call in the church office and we'll get you connected with that. But we're really glad you're here today as we talk about ladders, rocks, and God. What could go wrong? I can't think of a thing. No. <laughs> See you in a minute, guys. Okay. Hi, everybody, and welcome to week 12 again. And I see we have our rock that's right here from our opening. We'll use that rock in a little bit again. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to light our candle, not the lamb, the candle. So here we go. I like our wonder table today with the pumpkins and everything. It reminds me of Thanksgiving. Yeah, which is tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. Anyway. And all of the food. Yay. And the wonderful things. I know. Lot is so excited. Me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, I have to cook most of it, but that's okay. Whatever. I like that too. <laughs> all right. So, have you ever, have you ever felt that you're blessed? Yes, I'm feeling very blessed today. Yes, I, why? Why? Well, I'm, I'm feeling blessed because it's going to be Thanksgiving tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling blessed because I get to be here with my friend Aww. Laurie and Laud the Lamb. Yeah. So, have you ever slept on a stone? You know, in fact, I have slept on a stone before. Uh, when I've been camping, I, the, one of the last times I went tent camping with my family and oh. I had my sleeping bag set up on the ground, turns oh. out I was, had a pretty good sized stone under uh, my sleeping bag and that kind of hurt bad. What about you? Ever slept on a stone? Um, you know, I'm going to be honest, not that I can remember. I've never, I've never slept on a stone. Now there was a, a time that I fell off of a horse and my head landed on a rock and I just kind of laid there for a minute but not quite the same it really wasn't comfortable what about an interesting dream have you ever had an interesting Ooh, dream yeah yeah like what oh you know like going on vacation like to a beach mm. i know doesn't that sound nice that sounds really nice yeah and sometimes like about snow i've had dreams about snow before really mm -hmm. which is kind of funny because i don't really like snow but I've had dreams about it. Really? I've had dreams about flying an airplane and then there was a big unicorn. I have no idea what that means. It was interesting though. Yeah, and then there's that dream where you wake up because you feel like you're falling. Oh yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Hmm. Well, in our Bible story for today, we are continuing with Jacob. Jacob has left his family, Esau and his dad Isaac, and he's traveling. And as he travels, oh. he gets to a certain place, he's really tired, and he lays down his head next to a stone. But imagine like a big stone. And he falls asleep. And then he has this very vivid dream that he could remember. He dreamed that there was a large staircase, like a ladder, a ladder. that was reaching all the way from heaven 
all the way down to the ground, and that God appeared in Jacob's dream and promised to be with Jacob and to bless him and to bless all of his descendants. We call that story sometimes Jacob's Ladder. Interesting, huh? Yeah, I think there's even a couple of songs about there that are. whole thing. Yeah, there are. Mm-hmm. So I hope you guys will read that story together. It's in Ch- in the Bible in Genesis chapter 28, verses 10 through 22. It helps us remember that God sometimes shows up very unexpectedly in our lives in unexpected mm-hmm. ways. We might not have a vivid dream like angels and staircases, and maybe aren't sleeping next to a rock. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes we least expect it. God shows up in a new kind of way. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, do we have our Wonder Cube? Did we <gasps> grab we that? We do. It's oh, right here. We should roll our Wonder Cube and, okay. and see what we can Ready? Up with. Let's see what we get this time. Um, what did the Bible story teach me? Hmm. I think it taught me to be on the lookout kind of those messages from God all the time. Nice. But, you know, it can just, like I just did to you, it can just interrupt your life, and there you go. I, You know what? I was thinking mm-hmm. the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, and that God can show up in those unexpected ways when we least yep. expect it. Mm-hmm. I like it. Okay, remember, you have your wonder cube. Roll your wonder cube and ask your wonder questions. Oh, let's see. Oh, what is Here it? We, oh I spun around. What is the most important part of the Bible story? Well, I think that for me, it is remembering that God is with us all the time, maybe in mm-hmm. uh, in those unexpected ways or when we least expect it, that God is always there and God is blessing us. Yep. Even sometimes we don't recognize it, but yeah. he is. Even sometimes we don't recognize it. Yeah. That's good to remember. I like it. I do too. Well, should we have our prayer together before we have our Bible story video? Oh, I think I think we should. We should. Do you want to do it or you want me to do it? Um, I can do it. Excellent. Go okay. ahead. Here okay. we go. Dear God, dear God, thank you for blessing me. Thank you for blessing me. Amen. Amen. Nice prayer. Hmm. We hope that you'll use the prayer together. And now, why don't we have our Bible story video and watch that really carefully. So come in close so you don't miss anything. See you in a few minutes. Bye, guys. Hi, it's Gabby. Wait, what's that? Do you see that staircase? It's touching the top of the sky, as far as I can see. I wonder if this is what Jacob saw in his dream. After Jacob took the blessing, his mom told him to go to his uncle's home. On the way, he was tired and found a stone to lay his head down and rest. It wasn't a super special place, or a place that he knew would be important. As he went to sleep, He quickly learned that God is in places we think are just ordinary, and God shows up in unexpected ways. For Jacob, God showed up in his dreams. There is a staircase, just like the one that we saw. God's messengers were moving up and down the stairs. Then God appeared on the staircase and promised Jacob that his children and everyone after them would be okay. God promised his family that they would have a positive impact on the world. Jacob's whole family would always have a place to belong. Can you imagine waking up from that dream? When Jacob woke up, he knew that God was with him. God was with him in this random, ordinary place. God spoke a beautiful promise into Jacob's life when Jacob wasn't expecting it. One time, I was in school and I was having a really hard day. I took a really difficult spelling test that morning and one of my friends had just moved away. I was really feeling down. Then I remembered that my Sunday school teacher told me that I could pray, and I decided to try it. When I got home, I went outside and found my favorite tree. I realized that God was there with me. I felt much better just from talking to God. Places we go every day can be special places of prayer. God's blessing to us is that God's presence is always there. Any place you go can turn into a special place. Remember that Jacob went to a regular place to get sleep, and God gave him a beautiful blessing. Now, it's your turn to wonder. Hi, everybody. 
It is Miss Lori again, and it is time for craft time. Lod's not going to help us right now because he is a white sheep, and we're getting ready to do some painting. In your instructions, it says permanent markers, but I thought paint would be more fun. So you got a kit that looks like this in your bag, and when you open this up, you can use the bag as a placemat if you would like, but you need to ask a grown-up to help you open the bag, okay, and open the paints and get you all set up. You also need to go outside and find a rock. I'm using the rock that we've been working with today. Also, if you picked up your advent materials, you have some rocks, okay? So you're gonna take this rock and paint, and I'd like you to paint something from today's story. Jacob and the ladder and the dream and the rock, any of those things you can draw. And that will help you remember this story. So I'm going to draw, I'm not the best drawer, but we're going to try here. I'm going to draw a ladder. Okay. And again, yours is probably going to look better than mine. That's my ladder. Looks kind of like a windows, but it's good, it's a ladder. I remember, and it could help me tell the story to my family and my friends. So have fun painting, make sure grown-ups know what you're doing, all right, and clean up when you're done. See you in a little bit. Hi adults, it's time for our spiritual practice for this week, and we're gonna concentrate on who God is and the characteristics of God. So what we want you to do is get a piece of paper and something to write with, and let's focus for just a couple of minutes on those things about God's character. So write some of those down. I'm gonna write down compassionate. It's one of the things I think about God. And loving. And always with me. And by doing this, this is going to help you remember that you can also be all of these things as well. That you can expect the unexpected presence of God. And you can remember that also to be compassionate, loving, always present with the people that you're with. So I encourage you to use this spiritual practice this week as a way to help you focus on who God is and who God is calling you to be. Enjoy that this week, grown-ups. Thanks. Hi everybody, thank you so much for completing another week's journey of Celebrate Wonder. And this was really a great week. It I was. learned a lot this week. I did too. About Jacob made me realize that God is with me wherever I go and that we're blessed. Our word, blessings. Yes, you are blessed. You can also give blessings to others. Think about that over this Thanksgiving week. Absolutely. Yes. Try to be a blessing to somebody else tomorrow. Absolutely. And while you're at it, um, you can remember to do your celebrate chart, and there's mm -hmm. ways to be a blessing and to be blessed there on are, there, too. Yes. Yes. When, and I think this is our last week of this chart. You'll have a new chart and this word. New chart, new word next week. Nice. There's How some fun. good things on here, like cleaned up trash and did mm -hmm. the dishes. That's great for yep. Thanksgiving. Anyway. Check those Lots off. of opportunities. Um, we are going to end with a breath prayer. So I'm going, it's a repeat after me prayer. Okay, and a breathe in and a breathe out prayer. So here we go. Breathe in. Say, God is with me. God is with me. Exhale, wherever I go. Wherever I go. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. God is with me. God is with me. Exhale, wherever I go. Wherever I go. That was a good prayer, Laurie. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. I think that'll help me remember to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yep. Don't forget to stick around for a couple of minutes for our music video, Everywhere I Go. It's our last time with this song, so sing it loud and sing it proud. Yep. Next week will be our first Sunday of Advent and first week of Advent. Bye, guys. Bye. See you then.
Sometimes you don't move fast enough for me, and I start playing.